Literature reviews are the backbone of academia and arguably sometimes in undergraduate you just have to do one because your course says. So what are the easiest ways to automate your literature review? Well, I found the top three. The first one is Wiseo. Wiseo is a kind of newish app. It's got some features that aren't quite yet developed, but it is incredibly powerful as it is, and it's only gonna get better. So it is uh, writing science powered by AI. So if we head in, you can see once you log in, um, you can start a new project. So let's start a new project and let's talk about, okay, we don't want that. Let's talk about um, transparent electrode material. So here we can say we want a systematic review. Um, yeah, systematic review and we want it academic and we want transparent electrode material. So let's save that and let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to now, I'm going to get rid of all of this. You can use this as a template if you want, but I'm going to select it all. I'm going to get rid of it. Let's start from scratch. So I want to say, um, I want to uh, conduct a literature review on transparent electrode materials. Okay, so once you've got your sentence in there. We can highlight this and then you get this tab over here. We can get our AI suggestions, we can correct grammar, we can translate to English. So if you're in English as a second language student, you can write in your original language, which is brilliant. If you're trying to work out the nuances of what you want to say, and also you can find references. Wicked. Okay, let's get AI suggestions. Once you get AI suggestions, you'll get three options. So transparent electron materials have become increasingly prevalent, blah, blah, I like that one. Let's click that. Um, I'm gonna copy this suggestion and I am going to copy that across. So you can see it's very easy to start building up sort of like the basis of your literature review. So I'm gonna ask it, what are some common materials for transparent electrodes? So I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna get some AI suggestions, I'm gonna wait a few seconds and then it's gonna pop up and I'm gonna be able to say, Okay, here, this is the best one. So transparent electron materials. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna say that's good. I'm gonna give them some feedback and I'm gonna paste this across. So there are several uh, electron materials that are commonly used. And so these are the ITO, FTO, zinc oxide, very common, okay? So this is how we can start building up. Now let's say that I want to uh, get a reference. So let's say I want this and I wanna get a reference. So I'm gonna click here and it's gonna go away and produce a load of references. Now, always you've gotta check the references. You can't just accept them as they are. So you can get this for free, but it is quite limited. So five suggestions, five grammar corrections, five translations, and four out of five reference lists. But ultimately, I think this is a great place if you've got some initial ideas and you want to start to sort of like, to come up with lots of text around those ideas. The next one is even more powerful. All right then, Jenny AI is one of the best ways that I think at the moment you can write a literature review automatically. And so you can see here, this is the front page of Jenny AI and it says supercharge your next research paper. So I'm gonna log in and I'm gonna start a new document. I am writing today a literature review about transparent electrode materials. It says that this is a great prompt, so let's start writing. So transparent electrode materials, and the one thing I love about this is, look, it's just jumping in right away and taking any kind of issues away. So transparent electrode materials play a crucial role in various modern, yeah, okay, I like that, very true. What else is it gonna say? It's just gonna pop up. It takes away all of the thought process, which I absolutely love. And then due to their broad application, blah, blah, increasing. Okay, good, I like that. Let's have a look at um, alternative materials. Alternative materials for, and then let's see what it says. Let's see, for transparent electrodes has been developed and prevailing material as his own live. Okay, great, I like that already. So it just keeps on building up the literature review without you even having to think about it. Couple of things I really like about Jenny. Okay, good. You're gonna continue spilling out words. I love it. The next thing uh, is let's talk about citations. So if I want a citation, I can, let's have a look. Let's, let's have a look for a citation there. I highlight the text, I push cite, and it will look away in different journals or websites if you want, and it will pull up some citations here. 
Let's just add this. I would need to go and check it, obviously. Now, it's got a number of reference styles. My favorite and the one I was normally using is this IEEE, -E -E, where you put a little number in brackets and it puts it down the bottom. But that is how you can use Jenny and you can add uh, headings, you can, um, you can add your own text, it will build up, and you can also add your own references. So another thing I really like about Jenny is this chat feature. You click that and you open Ask Jenny, and you can ask it to do stuff for you. So you can create section headings, you can analyze your document. This is the equivalent of using ChatGPT for research. So let's create some section headings, and you can see it is spilling it out so quickly. Let's put this in because why not? Thanks, Jenny, you made that super easy. And then once we put it underneath, it should start writing what we think. There we are, first thing. Transparent electron materials play a vital role in modern technology. I don't think this could be any easier. The last tool I want you to know for automating your literature review is Open Read. Very new, very temperamental, but potentially very powerful. Let's see what it's got to do with papers, with transparent electronic materials. So you can play with oat while we find a paper. Oat didn't need to, great. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Homogeneously bright, flexible, and foldable light lighting devices with um, functionalized graphene. So you can see here that we've got the information down the side, we can add it to a paper hub, we can got, we've got abstract, we've got figures. And one thing I really like about this is you can just go through very quickly and scan the papers once you've uploaded them or you've found them. This works well for your literature review because once you import your paper, you know, quite often we've got to say these people did this, these people did that. You can click on Paper Espresso and what you end up with is just like a little grab that you can copy and paste into your literature review and then change it up because then you've got to make it your work. Questions, okay, what are the highlights of this paper? Let's ask now and see what it does. And once it pops up, we've got here, the paper demonstrates blah, 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 blah. So it does allow you to talk to the papers um, without having to import the PDFs necessarily. It will go away and find them, and then you can import your own PDFs if you want. So overall, a great way to just quickly scan papers for your literature review if you've already got a body of work that you want to pull from. Um, a really useful tool that I think will get more powerful as time goes on. So there we have it. There are the three tools that you can use for automating your literature review. I'm amazed at how this technology has sort of progressed even in the last few months, and I'm certain it will make making and writing literature reviews better for you in the future. But at the moment, the power of Jenny AI is just outstanding to me. They've kind of combined all of the important things together and uh, it couldn't be any easier. It literally spills it out in front of you even if you're doing nothing. So go check it out. Uh, remember to use my code uh, to get 20% off if you want to use Jenny AI and uh, that's it. So let me know in the comments which ones you would add. Also, there are more ways of engaging with me. The first way is to sign up to my newsletter. Head over to andystapleton.com.au. No, stroke that, andrewstapleton.com.au forward slash newsletter. Put the link in the description and when you sign up, you'll get five emails over about two weeks. Everything from the tools I've used, the podcasts I've been on, how to write the perfect abstract and more. It's exclusive content available for free, so go sign up now. And also go check out academiainsider.com. That's where I've got my eBooks, the Ultimate Academic Writing Toolkit, the PhD Survival Guide, and my resource pack for applying for a PhD. It takes all of the guesswork out by providing you with all of the cheats for uh, making it super successful for you. All right then, um, let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video.